Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to run a compliance report for your for the uh, Windows updates deployment. So the first thing you need to do is you want to make sure you create software update groups. So I have software update groups created. Uh, look like it's this one is it has been created weekly um, but if you want to create for this month for example you need to go into well you know how to create software update group just go into um, all software updates I'm not, this video I'm not going to go through how to create um, software update groups but I'm just going to show you how to run a report so if you have software update, update groups created in my case, I have all these software update groups here. So to run a report, you need to go to monitoring and then reports. You want to look for um, a report called compliance. It's compliance one, overall compliance. So just right click, run. The update group click on value so in this case all my update groups shows up here so I'm gonna run a report for the month of February 27 click OK the collections I'm going to collect select the all windows and server clients and then click on view report So as you can see, none of my computer are compliant. So that means they don't have the February patches. And if I click on non-compliance, all these computers are non-compliant. Don't have they don't have the um, the patch. So what I need to do is I'm going to deploy the. February patch, right click and deploy. I'm going to select the collection. You can name this to whatever you want. Uh, I'm just going to call it um, February patch. and click next it's going to be required click next as soon as possible I'm going to change this date to the third today is the third 536 click next I don't have any maintenance windows but if I do it's going to ignore maintenance windows I don't want to suppress anything here. Display and software center, I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to change it to only shows computer restart. Click next, next. I will make sure download, next, and next. So that's it. That's how you run the, um, the software update reports. Thank you for watching and if you like the video please don't forget to subscribe and have a good day.